thank you so much for coming back and watching our YouTube channel and following our journey throughout this entire trip. We are on our last days of our two month trip to Asia. We went to Japan, we went to Thailand, and we also went to Indonesia, we went to a bunch of islands and stuff like that. We just shared a video with you guys recently on what we packed as far as like clothing and stuff like that because a lot of people were asking us how did we pack for a two month trip, especially traveling with a baby. Now this video is also about packing as well, but it's more about what I packed as far as our camera equipment goes, as far as gear and stuff like that. We had a few people message us as well asking us what did we pack for our trip as far as photography equipment goes. So I wanna share that with you. I did do a video previously to this trip about what camera bag I bought with me, which is this one right here. It is the Low Pro, Pro Tactic BP450 AW Mark II. And this was the camera that I had chosen between our Think Tank and the Peak Design bag to bring with me. So honestly, I have absolutely no regrets whatsoever in bringing this bag. I think this was the absolute perfect bag for this trip, for everything that we did and everywhere that we went. Now, as far as the camera equipment that I brought with me, I'm just gonna start going through some of the things that we brought. I'm gonna put it in the bag right here, and then I'm just gonna summarize the video. So. First, I brought with me a Canon 5D Mark IV with a 16 to 35 millimeter lens. This is the camera that I used for some of like the B-roll shots that I did in some of the videos and a lot of the pictures that are on our Instagram and stuff like that. Give me one second, Julian woke up. Say hi. You just woke up from your nap and you have head hair. Look at this hair. All over the place. Julian was taking a nap after breakfast and you just woke up, right? All right, so what are we doing in this video? We're gonna be talking about the stuff, the camera equipment that we brought with us to this trip, right buddy? To do all those pictures and videos that we did of you? All right, so first I bought a Canon 5D Mark IV as my main body and a 16 to 35 millimeter lens. This is the camera that I used for a lot of the B-roll shots. This is the camera that I used to mainly photograph like our entire trip. As far as cameras and lenses go, I brought a 100 millimeter macro 2.8. This was definitely my absolute favorite lens for pictures, for portraits of Julian and for video. I absolutely loved this lens. The 16 to 35 was more for landscape and just an all around lens. I also brought with me my 50 millimeter lens, which I didn't even use a single time. So this is something that I could have left back home. Now I know for the next time, I'm probably not going to use it. So I'll probably leave it back home. Next, I brought with me, I'm just going to start putting stuff away just to clear up the desk. Julian, you're going to hold on tight. Before I forget, I also have the Peak Design holder on this body. That thing was a lifesaver. Walking around, having the camera bag on me, having the camera clipped onto my chest. It was definitely, definitely, definitely very useful. This lens goes in here. Then I brought with me our drone, our DJI Mavic Pro 2, which is in here. This is actually a case for a GoPro, which I got. And the drone fits perfectly in here. So we have the drone in here, as well as controller right here. And then I also have my GoPro in there as well. GoPro inside the same case. So now for the controller, I definitely learned the lesson during this trip. I was too lazy during some parts of the trip to put the joysticks away, right? Daddy just was rushing. So I would just throw the joysticks in the bag and that's it. And then on the next time that I opened up the drone, I would put them back on instead of storing them in the bottom part of the controller. So what happened was that I lost the joystick. So for like the past two weeks, every drone shot that I have has been without joysticks. I've just been like using the little ball thing on the remote and that's how I've been flying the drone. But from now on, the joysticks will go where they belong. So that goes in there and then this gets zipped up. It's perfectly in here. I also have two additional batteries for the drone as well, which actually came in hand perfectly because there were some places that I used the drone, like like we were out of the house the entire day and I wanted to get like some early morning sunrise or like early morning shots with the drone. So I flew the drone there. Then I also flew the drone midday. So that was an additional battery. And then as we were getting closer to sunset, that was my third battery. So I think three batteries was the perfect amount of batteries for the drone. So that goes in there. Then my 50 millimeter goes on top of the batteries. Then this pouch right here just has like 
all of our cell phone chargers and uh, adapters and stuff like that, which this actually goes in my Oxfree bag. This pouch right here has all of the drone chargers, so the drone battery chargers and some cables and some adapters as well. This goes right over here. Then we have this little pouch which in here I have like a bunch of adapters for like my hard drive. I have the memory card readers. I have some GoPro accessories in there. And then some, some just random USB cables that goes in there. We have two battery packs. One of them is for the 5D Mark IV battery. And then this one is for the G7X, which is the camera that I'm using to record this video. And yes, I did bring the G7X with me as well. The G7X is an incredible travel camera, an incredible vlogging camera. It has been through hell and back on this trip. This camera has fallen a bunch of times. It got dropped in the sand. The screen is loose because the screw fell out. The, the button doesn't even turn anymore. So definitely I'm going to be retiring this camera when I get back but this camera, the G7X, was absolutely amazing. It's what we use to record all of the vlogs. So these two power things go in here, and I bought this uh, travel adapter. I actually had two of these. I sent one back home in, uh, in the box that we shipped back with all of our uh, Japan stuff, thinking that I wasn't gonna use it because Japan had like the same, uh, the same ports as the US. But in Bali, actually, it's different and there's no adapter. So I had to go out and buy another one because sometimes I needed to charge something and Andrea needed to charge something in a separate part of the room and stuff like that. So this was definitely very useful. Then we have a small little power outlet adapter. This was really cool too. I've been using this for like the past four years, to be honest. Every time that we travel, we take this with us. It goes in here. We have our memory cards right here. GoPro battery pack, our Polar Pro filters. For being a first time drone owner, they were incredible. I used them during like sunset, I used them in the midday. Honestly, like the, some of the drone footage that we have on this trip, I didn't even do any editing or any color correcting or anything to it, it straight out of the camera with these filters and it was incredible. Then we have our Lacey hard drive, which is where everything is stored and backed up. That goes in here. Ear pods. These are the best. A uh, power bank, the Anchor IQ power bank. This thing charges my phone up to like five times, especially when you're using your phone to fly a drone, it kills the battery tremendously. So this thing, when my battery is at like five, 10%, plug the phone into this, it charges it up in like 20 minutes really quick. I could charge it up to five times. I used this thing to charge up the GoPro batteries. It was perfect. So we have this, this goes in here. Then I have a Gorilla Pod. This is the Gorilla Pod that we were using to vlog the majority of the trip with the G7X. We have, this is like a selfie stick for the GoPro. This is the same one that I've had for the past couple of years. I used this in our first trip to Thailand. It was amazing. It opens up really, really big. Julian loves it, like this, right there. And I use this during like the underwater swims and all of that. I also brought this GoPro one, which is the floating one, which I didn't even use a single time. The only reason I brought it is because it came with the GoPro when I bought it. But to be honest, I prefer, I prefer this stick because it gives more reach. Then we have our laptop adapter, 15 inch MacBook Pro, an iPad that we didn't even use. This was supposed to be to entertain Julian on the flight. We used it like twice on the flight. He didn't really care for it because he's never used an iPad before. So we, we still have it. We should have sent it back. And then I have this Wacom Intuos tablet, which is what I use for editing pictures. And I had a wedding to deliver on the beginning portion of our trip, which I also used the Wacom tablet for editing. So that pretty much sums up all of the gear that we brought for this trip. As far as tips goes, I wouldn't have done anything differently. I think the only thing is I would not have brought the 50 millimeter lens with me. And to be honest, I love my, my Canon 5D Mark IVs. Those are the main workhorses that we have for our weddings back home. But I probably, I think I'm going to consider doing a separate setup for future travels because it is a little bit of a hassle carrying the G7X and then the 5D Mark IV for pictures and for B-roll. I kind of want to find a setup that I can use for both vlogging, for both B-roll, for both photography, all in one so I can pack a little lighter as far as camera equipment goes because this bag does get a little heavy, especially with the tripod, which as far as tripods goes, I brought with me the one that I'm using to hold up the G7X now. It's a Mi Photo Backpacker tripod. It folds up really small, really compact. That was also very useful on this trip as well. So I loved having that. No regrets there. Mom.
<laughs> that pretty much sums up everything. So if you are planning a long trip and you're looking or thinking about what camera equipment to bring with you, check out this video. I hope you guys like this video and it gives you a good idea of what we use. Everything that I bought with me is exactly what I used to film all of the previous vlogs that you've seen. If you haven't seen them, definitely check them out. Please don't forget to like them. Don't forget to subscribe. If you have any recommendations or tips for us as far as travel gear goes for, for photography or for video, we would love to hear from you. And if you have any feedback for us, we would love to hear from you as well. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Say bye. 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 Bye.